30 second recap on uh, last week's game against Northwestern. Obviously, you, know, you can't turn the ball, ball over as many times as you do and uh, expect to be successful. So that's one of the things that obviously we have to clean up. Um, I think our guys have really uh, focused on making sure we don't beat ourselves in those situations. And it was unfortunate that we, we shot ourselves in the foot so many times. But uh, this is a huge, huge week for us. And guys know that. We had a, a great meeting on Sunday night. And uh, they're fired up. You wait all year long for this game. And uh, it's been up on our wall for 365 days. And the clock ticks down every single day. So we're excited about going down to Bloomington and playing our rival on rivalry weekend. Um, you're facing an Indiana team, in particular, tailback Kevin Coleman, who's been dominant despite defenses stacked to stop him. What, what makes him so effective? Well, he's a big back, Pete. He's a very big back, and he's fast. And uh, when the hole is uh, developed for him, he hits it with great velocity, and, uh, you know, it's kind of funny. Guys take the wrong angle on this guy. I'm not sure they know how fast he really is, and we got to make sure we eliminate those running lanes uh, because um, if you don't, that's when he becomes a good, really good back. Or what do they bring to the table in terms of their pass? Well, I think the quarterback, um, you know, he hasn't played many games, but you can see him get better and better each week. One of the things that concerns you about the quarterback is he's not afraid to pull it down and run it. So we got to make sure we do a good job of tackling him when he does do that um, because he is, he's got a little shiftiness to him uh, when he does pull it down. And do you see the receiver? I mean, basically the receivers have to step up. Are they, uh, are, are they capable of that with one game left? Well, I think so. I think they're growing up. They're young guys. We played two true freshmen on the outside last, last week, which is always hard. Um, but they're not the only guys. We all have to step up. Every single position has to step up. We've got to finish blocks a little bit better in the run game, um, offensive line-wise. I thought we had to, you know, some of those plays we talked about for the keys to victory is you, you have to make more than what they're, they're giving you. So there was a couple plays where we had a chance to make a few more yards than what we got. So those are some of the other things that we have to get better at, Pete. The importance of winning – Winning this game, ending the losing streak, heading to the postseason with, with, with a positive feeling, how, how, how crucial is that? Well, this is a big game. Everybody knows that. Everybody in our program knows that. Everybody in their program knows that. It's a huge game for both programs. And, uh, you know, you can throw out all the records, and this game will come down to the effort that you play with and the execution that you have and not turning the ball over. That's what this game's going to come down to. No, not at all. I, I think the message, one of the messages on Sunday night was we all have, not, not only the players, but the coaches as well, you have to clear your mind from that last game because if you don't, it'll clutter your vision to what ha needs to happen this week. Uh, whether it's a freshman, whether it's a senior, whether it's a coach, it doesn't matter. You have to clear your heads and you got to go forward. That's, that's the bottom line. But we talked about one of the plays that Brandon Cotta made last year was a 60-yard reception. Uh, somebody has to step up in, the, in these rivalry games. That's what makes the difference in the games. It might be someone you wouldn't think about it. It might be a wideout, might be a tight end. You don't know, but uh, someone has to make some plays that may not have made them all year long. What, what have you seen in, in terms of uh, the Hoosiers' ability to stop, stop folks? I think that what they're doing is playing hard. I mean, you turn the tape on and guys are flying around. Now, uh, sometimes they may be out of position, but you see guys run into the ball. And I think that's where their, their major improvement has come from last year to this year. And Demon, a quarterback, is, you know, obviously inexperienced, but he is getting better. Mm -hmm. What do you, uh, outside of giving your game plan away, what do you have to do to, to cause him to be uncomfortable early and often? And, and can that make them uh, one-dimensional enough to really make you be able to have your, have your way against their, their offense? Well, there are a couple things I think we can do to make him uncomfortable. And I think without giving anything away, that's what we need to do because that's when he struggles a little bit when uh, things are happening. You can see some things break down.